Next topic is post correspondence problem. This is also a undecidable problem. So in the previous lecture, we discussed about one of the undecidable problem which is halting problem. And the another undecidable problem is known as PCP or post correspondence problem. Okay, this was introduced by the person Emil Post. That's why he gave the problem name as Post from his name. Post correspondence problem in 1946. Okay, so here we are having some dice. These dice are known as dominoes. Okay, in the dice, if we are taking each and every dice or dominoes, you can see two parts, numerator and denominator. That is top and bottom part. Okay, the thing is that what is our task? We need to find a sequence of dominoes such that the top and the bottom strings are same. If I am combining B, A, C, A, A, B, C in the numer uh, numerator part, in the, if I am combining the denominator part, I need to get the same name, same string. Here B, A, C, A, A, B, C. But here it is C, A, A, B, A, C. Okay, so both are not equal. So I need to make the both the numerator and denominator part equal okay that is the top and bottom strings are the should be same okay so we need to arrange the dominoes in such a way that the top part and the bottom part of the two strings are same okay that means i am combining the top part that means if we combine these symbols in the top part combining b a c a a b c and the bottom part that is c a a b a c that is here i am combining the top part b a c a a b c and the bottom part is c a a b a c right this is a top part if i am combining the top part i got this string if i am combining the bottom part i got the string these strings are not equal right top string and bottom string is not equal so i need to generate i need to create same string same top same top and same bottom that is top equal to bottom same string right so the rule is that we can arrange we can arrange these dominoes in any manner okay and also we can use the a particular domino multiple times but we should have a sequence finite sequence of dominoes such that the top and bottom string are same okay So this is the explanation I wrote here. So we are going to find a finite sequence of dominoes such that the top string and bottom string should be same. So what will be the first step? Here I am having these dominoes. So the first step is first symbol. The first symbol in the numerator and denominator should be same. Then take that domino. Here B, C. Not equal. Here A, A. In this domino, the first symbol in the numerator and the denominator is same. Here it is different, here it is different. So I am taking the first domino, which is A by AB. Right? This is the first domino I am taking. Now in the denominator, so top and bottom same. Here I go see an extra B. So I need to match with a B in the numerator. So check for a B which is in numerator. So I can take this domino. Right? So I can take this domino B by C. Now I got the string top, I got the string AB, bottom I got the string ABCA. So I got a CA extra in the numerator. So I need to add a CA in the sorry denominator. I need to add a CA in the numerator. Okay. In order to match. So I need to CA dice domino which is having CA in the top. So from this domino, CA in the top is this. Right? So I can take this domino. So A by AB, this domino I took. Second domino B by CA. In order to match this CA, I am taking this domino. That is CA by A. Now I got the sequence A, B, C, A here. Here I got the sequence A, B, C, A, A. Now in the denominator I got an extra A. So I need to find for a domino which is having numerator A. So numerator A, which one I can take? I can take this one, right? Numerator A. So A by AB. A by AB. 
right? So here in the top I got the sequence A, B, C, A, A. In the denominator I got the sequence A, B, C, A, 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 B. Now I got extra A, B in the denominator. So I need to find a domino which is having A, B in the top. Okay. So see here A, B in the top is this domino. I am taking this domino. That is A, B, C by C. Now the top I got the pattern A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. Right? In the bottom I got the sequence A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. See, the top sequence and the bottom sequence are same. So I can arrange the dominoes in this manner. Okay. So this is the solution for this particular problem. So we got the solution here. But I am again saying this is an undecidable problem. Sometimes we will not get the pattern. Okay, same pattern, same string. Okay, we can't write a generalized algorithm for solving such kind of problem. But here anyway we got the solution. But it is not sure that always we will get the solution. Let's see for another example. See another example here, this is our problem. Okay, this is another way of representing the PCP. Instead of domino, we can mention it as a table. It indicates these are the domino numbers. This is the first domino, second domino, third domino. A means numerator part. B means denominator part. Okay. So, 1 numerator and its denominator is triple 1. So, 1 by triple 1. So, this is the first domino. First domino is 1 by triple 1. Second domino is 1 0 triple 1 by 1 0. Second domino. Third domino is 1 0 by 0. Okay. So, we have, we are having 3 dice or we are having 3 dominoes and we need to find uh, we need to arrange these dominoes in such a manner that if we are combining the numerator part and the denominator part, we need to get the same string. So, how to start uh, performing the operation? I need to take a domino first in which the first symbol should be same for denominator and so for numerator and denominator. Okay. So, just I am starting with the second domino. 1, 0, triple 1, 1, 0. Okay, you can take this also, no issue. Here, in the first numerator is 1, 0, triple 1, denominator is 1, 0. So, we are having a triple 1 extra in the numerator. So, I need to find a dice which is having triple 1 in the denominator. Okay. So, I need extra, I saw a triple 1 in the denominator, right? So, in order to match this one, I can select a domino which is having triple 1 in the denominator. So, I am adding first domino along with this domino. Okay, so first domino I selected. Okay, this is domino number 1. This is domino number 2. So, I, if I am combining the numerator part, I got this string. If I am combining the denominator part, I got this string. So, anyway, one extra in the numerator. So, I need to select a domino which is having 1 in the numerator part, in the top part. So, from this I can select domino 1 again because it is having 1 in the numerator part. Sorry, here 1 is extra in the top part. Okay, so I need to select a domino which is having 1 in the denominator part. So, which one I can select? I can select domino 2. Domino 1 I can select. Okay, I, we, can, we are selecting domino 1 once again. That means we can use the same dice more than one time, that is not a problem here. So here I wrote, I took one more, the domino number one once again. So in the top part I got this string and bottom part I got this string. Okay. So again, a, uh, more, uh, one more one in the denominator part. So I need to take a domino which is having one in the numerator part. Okay. Here bottom part is having extra one. So I need to select a domino which is having one in the top part. So, I can select this domino. Okay. So, if I am taking this domino, then just combining the numerator and denominator part, we can we have a string 1, 0, triple 1, triple 1, 0. If we are combining the denominator, also we will get 1, 0, triple 1, triple 1, 0. So, anyway, we got the same string in the top and bottom part. Okay. So, in this manner, we can solve this particular problem. So, here also we got the solution. But in some cases, we will not get the solution. Okay, let's see one more example. Again a table. Here this is the top, this is the top part, this is the bottom part. These are the dominoes. So 1 0 by 1 0 1, 0 double 1 by double 1, 1 0 1 by 0 double 1. So these are my dominoes. 
so here how we will start we need to take a domino which is having same in the same symbol in the numerator and denominator part so i am taking the first domino so 1 0 1 0 same here okay so here i can see extra one here so i need to select a domino which is having a one in the top part okay here a one is extra in the bottom so we are using a domino one again i am using this domino okay if i am using this domino i can suppose i am using this domino i can use this one or this one or this one right if i am using this domino i will get a string one zero one zero after combining the numerator part after combining the denominator part i will get a string one zero double one zero zero one here you can see first string is matching second symbol is matching third symbol is matching but fourth symbol is not matching okay so anyway i can't use this particular domino domino one i can't use if i am using the second domino along with this one okay if i am combining numerator and denominator we will get the string like this here also first symbol second symbols are matching third symbol is not matching so anyway i can't use the second domino if i am using the third domino then what will happen okay so along with the first along the result first step after the first step if i am taking the first domino we will not get a uh, we can't select this one okay because the strings are the symbols are unmatched if i am taking the second domino again the strings are unmatched in between okay symbols are unmatched in between if i am taking the third one we will get all the things equal but we are seeing only one extra symbol here okay so I, it is uh, correct if we are taking the third domino okay now we again we are proceeding so we are having a one extra in the bottom so i need to select a domino which is having one in the top part so if i am taking the only possibility is we are we can select the third domino first two dominoes we can't use because in between that we will get a symbol which is unmatched okay so i selected again this one so again i saw a extra one at the bottom the only possibility is taking the third domino if i am selecting again the third domino again i will get the pattern which is having an extra one at the bottom okay so it will continue it is like an infinite it will continue infinite times it will go to a loop okay anyway we will get we will never get a string of finite length okay so it is not possible to make a generalized algorithm in which if we are passing a pcp and it will tell us whether that pcp is solvable or not because sometimes it is going to an infinite loop okay so we can say for this particular example pcp is an undecidable problem that means if we are trying to solve the problem if we are trying to get a solution after combining the numerator and denominator part we are not getting a same string a finite length same string okay in here it is going to an infinite length string okay so for this example we can prove that this is an pcp is an undecidable problem 